shithead in this city. Cream. Thanks, V. Closing the gig. Looking a little put out there, Input. Interest you in a preem, BD? Sure. And I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, Input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. Liz was done. 
Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. Hm. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like Nothing's wrong. do for us? Really? A guy like Why don't you just tell me the truth? A vanilla I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio? Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Huh. Curious. Shit, buzz Dex right now if you're getting cold feet. I can wait. I doubt he'd add anything I haven't already heard. Anything I'd really like to hear for that matter. There's only one other bunch that's worse than fixers in that respect. Used car salesmen. <laughs> I'll go with my gut for now. V? Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? <sighs> v? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Compeki in Tokyo still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. 
Well, it's hard to argue with that. True. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? <laughs> Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why's that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. I'm waiting. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Even so, it's still Yorinobu fucking Arasaka. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So, what's Yorinobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Nope, don't buy it. Now watch his integrity rests on their neutrality. Why would they tarnish their rep by procuring stolen goods? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Fine, so no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. 
Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. It can be a very useful tool. Would you good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. What the fuck? Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. How much? No, no, and it's double. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your beauty, Ev. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down. Settle in. We'll get you going.
Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. Nah. -uh. Okay. Get it together. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and... Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Everybody, on the ground, I want to see you kissing the flooring, muddy, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God, whoa, yeah, uh, uh, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was... too much. Felt... I could feel the guy's... pain, his stress, his... hope? Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? 
Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing off the screen. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't be creative. You go in and say, yeah. Thanks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. That's why I'm extra. Then I. Okay, right. Okay, right here. Move on. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Okay. Fuck! On your ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hey? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. I'll take the register. How about you suck a bag of dicks, eh? Hey? We have a deal today of two flavors. Cody and yeah. Surf and Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the rollers cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello nice. Now, let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. On the ground! What? I see you kissing the floor! Money! Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. Alright, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Walk! Now! Before I block! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit.
Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in. What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only slip into this footage? Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Remember our agreement? Help me this one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy.